My name is Sara Martinez, I come from Ecuador and I live in Brooklyn, New York. On January 1st, 2011, I was uh, traveling by bus to Rochester, New York, and I was intercepted by the Border Patrol. That was a Sunday that I will never forget. I heard about the New York Immigration Coalition and I went there to get this campaign in the media. We request uh, the support of many, many people. Since to the coalition, my voice could be heard and I, in some way I could, I could stay. This is the new home for my family, especially for my little one. She's an American citizen, so I'm fighting for her rights. Anywhere between 187,000 to 250,000 people may be eligible in New York City. And that means that we all have to come together and really work together to reach as many of those folks as we can. This executive action on immigration has been obviously something that we're very focused on, we all are. But the people who started this conversation in the state, who were looking for state support and really a systematic view of how to help people, was the Immigration Coalition. We've been really thrilled uh, to work closely with the Immigration Coalition, many of our other partners in the community, to, to move that process forward. So we're ready when the injunction gets lifted. By helping people take full benefit of things like executive action, by making it easier for people to get IDs so they can live here. You need an ID to live in the New York City you need an ID to get into your child's school, to get into a government building, to open up a bank account, it's very necessary. The municipal ID card launched in the middle of January and we're now in the middle of May. And in that time, we've seen more than 190,000 people actually have their cards in hand. Close to half a million people have signed up for appointments to get their ID card. Our people really, really now benefited with City ID. They have something in their hand. They can provide in the bank, in the hospital. ID means the visibility of the people who is living under the shadow now. One of the things I'm so proud about as a author of this bill that created IDNYC was that NYIC was at the table designing the functions of this card. And they understand this at the level that our residents are asking for services. I use it all the time. It was a great idea from the mayor about the, this ID. If it wasn't for the New York Immigration Coalition, we would not be able to reach as many families as we have reached um, through these events like the Key to the City events. In these events, we take over whole schools where all these organizations come and talk about how immigrant communities can access services, legal services, health care. NYIC has had over 30 different Key to the City events in different communities. Over 25,000 immigrants, New Yorkers, have been able to access this. So really in every major policy initiative, every program that we've been able to lift up, the New York Immigration Coalition has been right there with us. I really appreciate being part of this group because they are a very strong voice and they add in our voice, they're listening to us. And they take it uh, to reach out on the city and the state level and the federal level. My relationship with New York Immigration Coalition has changed me. I know how to advocate for my people and others. It's the synergy between these local organizations, often very small, and the coalition, which we really see as something that's, you know, at the pinnacle of uh, our movement here in New York State. Without the Immigration Coalition and all its member organizations, I don't think that we'd be in as good of a place today as we are now, but we have a lot more to do.